our viewers what the Broncos should do, right? To yeah. fix things? And they're answering? They're answering. Boy, Let's go to some tweets. I, yeah. I'm curious. Take a look. I'm curious. People here are So that. Brent and Candace say, I think we need a true slot receiver, someone like Welker. Well, uh, Mark said. <laughs> that was an easy pickup. Yeah, yeah you, said, you, said the other, you said at the beginning of the program that the, how much they missed Jews Thomas. Well, they, it'd be nice if they had any tight end, and they picked up one day who I actually, I was going through a list of people. I want them to make a trade. And, and Gordon was, I was stunned when I was in the shower, and I hear this, and I went, he was a guy that was on my list. That Gordon's been around. He's primarily a blocking tight yeah. end. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the solutions, if you're going to commit the run, and I promise I won't rant anymore during the program. Do whatever but, you want. Is that they need a great block, blocking tight end. I don't think they even have one. Well, either. that Virgil Green is supposed to be that guy. And, and, and put him on the line. When you commit to the run, <clears> when you've got an extra – or take one of those offensive linemen and put him out well, there. Well, he thinks he's got the solution yeah, in I his think column, I, Emmanuel Sanders. I think he should move Sanders well, to the Well, yeah, slot. turn and, to the slot, but they miss Wes Welker when Wes Welker could get separation. And do what? Benny Fowler outside? Benny Fowler outside. Not, okay. not and now, you've got, now, now you've got Emmanuel no, Sanders no, in two no, positions where no, he no, could get hurt. No, well, I, Returning I, points I'm living dangerously less. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Involve their tight ends more. Well, hey, come on against the number. That's what we're talking about. They'd like to involve their tight ends anymore. Owen Daniels is done. He's done like dinner. <laughs> Whoa. He can't get separation. Owen, he's like West West. He's caught two touchdown passes oh, in the last oh, three well, games. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know if he's done like dinner, but he's average at best. And he's a guy that Gary Kubiak he's trusted. And he trusted, but he trusted too that much. he trusted that center that they brought in. That everybody's already forgotten his name, Grabowski or whatever yeah. his name. Uh, Grumpowski? Whatever the guy that was the center. <laughs> Isn't that one of the dwarf? Wasn't that one of the Who seven it? dwarfs? Greg or Gary? Grabkowski. Yeah. He's gone. He was no good. Owen Daniels is not the all pro you could be. Uh, Bubby Brister. <laughs> uh, there's the answer. That'll See, solve Bubby the problem. And Bubby we Brister, should get Bubby on you, the you're, get all, Bubby on you're all laughing, but Bubby is sitting somewhere right now shooting quail. Yeah. In Louisiana. Cause, cause Bubby's she, living a good about, life. About you know, 30 he's miles. He's having a good yeah. time. He's about 30 right. miles south never, of New Orleans He right never now. made that much money. How could he spend the rest of his life just shooting He gets paid to do it. Day? Doing what? He does these nature, sh these hunting and fishing shows. Oh, good for him. They pay him to Here's go out and shoot one. things dead. See, you guys are not serious here. Neil, Neil it. And let them <laughs> take it and kick it. Well, they then they should never have gotten rid of John Fox. You know, yeah. you're talking he loves about, Neil. You're talking about they should be three and two. If he hadn't come, if he hadn't been as good as he is, they would be two and three or three. If they and had two kicking three. troubles like a lot of teams have had, they would be three and two. Uh, th this one you'll love, Mark Kareen. Great for Alex Smith. Are, are you people idiots like the rest of people on Twitter? What is that is any way to treat our guests? Well, come on. You know, are, are you, you're not obviously funny, so try to go for smart at least. Uh, it's trading for old linemen. Skilled players are nothing without them. Something ESPN fails to report. I'm going to give you a trade. You, you, you want a trade? I'm going to give you one trade. Trade with the Texans. For Chris Clark, and uh, okay, all of you are gonna laugh. He's a backup there. Yeah. If you brought him back, he would be starting at left tackle. I'm here. wondering why they traded him to begin with. Did he just not show anything in practice? Is he one of these guys who got to this point in his career and he just fell he's off? Not the, right fell tackle. off the end of the table. He's not a right tackle. Well, he's never gonna be a right tackle. Well, he sat in Mark's chair there and said, "I can't play. I can't play right tackle. I'm a left tackle." <clears throat> Get it, give them their draft pick back or whatever they gave and throw in a little something, some gravy, and say, we messed up. Chris, come home. He probably still <laughs> has his house here. Come home and play left tackle. Yeah. Let's go play this. How many starters? It's, it's sort of like talent on television oh, geez, are <laughs> nothing without the people behind the here camera. We go. Can you oh, read see, it, you don't, Can you, you bring yourself to read it? Okay. Ricky M. Hansen Jr. Uh, this is the one I picked to read, yeah, naturally. Read it, read it. How Come many on, starters have to go down in the NFL before Tebow will make an appearance? Every one of them. <laughs> All the McCowans. It's over. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Isn't what, it? What is more important to the Broncos, keeping Manning one more year or keeping Osweiler long term? Uh, I guess he means keeping Manning next question. year. Guess what? 
I think there's a very good chance both of them could be gone next year. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I think this is Peyton's last year. A guy wrote me the other day, and he's talking about putting Osweiler in. I said, if you, if John Elway really liked his boy, wouldn't he have given him an extension before this year? Do you want him in a lame duck situation? Well, let me ask you this. If, if John, if, if, go ahead. If you want to run the ball and run the ball and run the ball this week, if you want to – for lack of a better term, experiment, okay? I'm not experiment. Or try different commit, things. Commit. Why not try Brock Osweiler this week? Because you, you divide your locker no. room and you shake the, 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 you're the trying confidence to, of the players the By running the football, And you're 5-0. Oh. Let five me help you out. And I explained to you, I've been covering this game for 50 years, so I actually know what I'm talking about. By running the football and committing to the football, then you have Manning in a good situation on third down to throw True. to Emmanuel Sanders. So when you go, well, try it a little bit, trying a little bit, they've tried it a little bit in games. It, Tr it, don't try it a little bit, try it. How many times are they running the football? I'm okay with them trying it. Run it 30 times. But only until they need to do something else to well, win. Well, I'm willing to lose this game because here's what I think is going to happen. I promised I wouldn't run anymore. If you run Sounds it 30 like times, me. if you run it 30 times against the Browns, maybe you'll find out you're not any good at running the football. Then we don't have to hear that garbage anymore. Then go to the hurry up and let him work out of the shotgun all game long. Uh, I, I think I missed one. Who's going to come out of the NFC East with a playoff berth? Uh, the, the Giants. Does somebody the have, Giants? The Giants? Does somebody have Giants? to come out of the Giants? NFC East? You, Tom Coughlin is the coach you cannot kill. You cannot <laughs> fire him. He's a vampire. I mean, he's like he, a I and, thought he was a goner for sure. Me personally, Tom Coughlin, I would go to my death before him, and my last, last words would be, Tom, you beat me. Well, Not guys, only lasting longer than me, but Tom Coughlin has proven me wrong over he, he, the years. He's a tough guy, but he also has the best quarterback in that division. What do the Mets have to so do in game five? They should emerge. To, what do the Mets have to do in game five to get a win? Uh... Lock Zach Grinky up on a subway and hope he doesn't get the game because you had your chance and you now having to face those two guys. They're not going to. Right. They're, they're going to back to back. Clayton Kershaw bore down last night. He was going to. He was going to win that game. And Zach Grinky is not a wuss. He's going to come win this game tonight. Mets. You know, Mr. Matt, you better, your ball is not big enough. I do one more, then I'm going to tell you about New England's running stats. Do you think Manning gets going against a poor Brown secondary that will likely be missing Joe Hayden? Uh, not if they do what I say they're going to do. They're, he'll, he'll get going because they win the game. I saw John Breach from CBS Sports said that Cleveland's going to win this game 21-20. to No, it's not going to happen because they're not going to do what I'm saying. But what they should do is go run to – I really think Kubiak might try it. He might actually be on my page more than he is on your page, no pun intended mm -hmm. there. Instead of going to hurry up, he's not going to do that. You know that. He I'm only well saying occasionally. I he think, doesn't want Peyton to throw think, more than 30 times I a game. Think they I are, guarantee I you that. I think they're going to try and run the football 28 to 30 times this game that he's just going to say, we're going to do, do it, do fellas. It. All right, I think so you know, you because you asked earlier, the Patriots average 92.5 yards a game on the ground. They're ranked 23rd in the league. The Broncos average 71.6 yards per game on the ground. They're ranked 30th. Average yards per carry, the Patriots 3.9, the Broncos 3.3. Let's but go to the deep. The point would be, how many times are the Patriots running it? To get uh, is that what the attempts is? Attempts. So the Patriots have run the ball 94 times. In four and the, games. And the Broncos have run the ball 108 times. But the Broncos have played one extra game. So yes. they're, 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 they're running yeah, it 24 eight. times. Patriots what? are doing much better yards per carry, though. Yeah. Let's go to the DPTV anchor desk in Molly Hughes.